Good morning. It's Thursday, February 17th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Looking to the Light, and our scripture is Romans chapter 8. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Well, the Apostle Paul was certainly convinced beyond the shadows of circumstance that light was not gone, but was just getting started. In the physical realm, the presence of shadows is only possible if there's light. When light shines on something, a shadow must be on the other side. This tells us that we must look to the light if we're not to stumble in the darkness of the shadows. This analogy holds up in the transfer from the physical to the metaphysical. God is light, the essence of good and truth. If we look away from God, we'll be facing the darkness. Paul declared that no force on earth or in the heavens can ever truly separate us from God, not demons, fears, nor even death. But we can choose to look away from God, and the result is living in darkness. In the aftermath of two years grappling with COVID-19 and now Omicron, and the associated darkening realities of life in the not-so-roaring 20s, with resources reducing in an anemic economy resembling storm clouds, face coverings hiding smiles, if there are any, and social distancing pushing us further away from social fellowship, it's more difficult than ever to imagine there is light to which we can look. Just as Darth Vader, the representative of evil in Star Wars, just as Darth Vader beckoned his estranged son Luke Skywalker, who represented naive humankind, to follow him to the dark side, the dark times of 2022 would have us cave in to our lower nature, becoming children of the shadows. These are dark times indeed. But scripture constantly urges us to keep our focus on the light of God's truth because living in darkness is so much below what God has planned for us. And that plan is for his love to have us walk in truth and light, the source of all hope, filled with a glorious, inexpressible joy. For you today. Christ declared that he is the light that came to dispel the darkness. He taught us it would be an inside job, a light that dwells within you, so you can reflect his glory. So, look to the light, Christian. No matter the circumstances, the criticisms, or changes that come, turn away from the shadows and look to the light of he who will lead you home to glory. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.